An enduring Australian love affair with electric jugs began in the late 1920s. At a time when fewer than half the homes in capital cities had electricity, entrepreneurial electrical goods manufacturers launched intensive marketing campaigns aimed at winning over housewives who had not been sold on the proposition of the electric home. By the end of the 1930s, a mass market had been created for ceramic electric jugs of all types. The fancier, the better. The advent of the electric jug meant the perfect volume of fresh water could be boiled quickly without the need for bottled gas or to first make a fire. And its convenience was such that this steamy love affair has not ended. Electric kettles had been invented in Britain in the early 1920s to speed up tea preparation times, but fear of death by electrocution prevented their mass production. Meanwhile in Australia, the electric element was incorporated into the ceramic electric jug, creating some of the earliest affordable electrical appliances available. Their popularity was so great that they ultimately became a feature in practically every Australian kitchen for the half century spanning 1920s to 1970s before modern plastics and space age alloys took over. Electric jugs originally took the shape of the pre-electric kettles they replaced but by the 1930s they were redesigned to create a modern, streamlined look. Potteries vied for the market by making their jugs as attractive as possible using colourful glazes and designs that resembled frogs, birds, faces, beehives or urns. Others would bear images of the new power source, electricity. Many aspects of futurism and modernism are incorporated into the Art Deco styling of these jugs which capture a fascinating part of our interwar domestic landscape. Brands such as Vulcan, Heckler, Speedy, Nielsen, Costa, Hotpoint, Fowler and Sunshine Electrics became household names. And Nielsen Electric Cookborough jugs are among the most sought after electric jugs prized for their charming Art Deco bird shape. They were made from moulded earthenware ceramic fired in Bendigo, with a beak as the lip and a C-shaped handle that extended from the back of the head to above the tail, with matching ceramic lid and embossed wings. The coloured mottling effect was done by hand using a sponge and covers the whole body and lid. Sunshine Electrics takes its name from the inner western Melbourne suburb of Sunshine, where it was headquartered. The locality was originally called Braybrook Junction until 1907, when the employee residents of the town petitioned to have its name changed to honour the number one employer, the Sunshine Harvester Company. When electricity came to Victoria's towns and suburbs, it's not surprising new electronics companies sprang up in Melbourne's inner west. Sunshine is the junction of the railway lines between Melbourne to Ballarat and Bendigo, where the great potteries of Bendigo, Eagle Hawk, Epson, California Gully and Jackass Flat could transport their ceramics to Sunshine Electrics for electrification, then sales distribution. Inspired by the bright dreamy name of Sunshine, rather than the cold grey climate, the Sunray motif was used as brand logo and the sun inspired many early Art Deco designs which are as breathtaking as Sunrise itself. The Sunray jug has ridges around the base that reach a third of the way to the top to form an horizon over which half a sun has risen. Triangular sun rays extend to the neck. A hand sponge modelled effect is given to the ceramic lid and the ridged area forming the horizon. Green and brown are reminiscent of sunrise over the meadows and fields, while blue is reminiscent of sunrise over the ocean. Sought after, like sunlight itself, the sunray jug is breathtaking and prized for its ability to capture the evanescent beauty of dawn. No matter the season or weather, the sun would rise in your kitchen giving warmth if you owned this jug. The ten sided jug has a blocky decagon form with a right angled handle. 
Modelling effect was given to the lid and traces around the base and top of the jug, leaving the geometric belly of the jug bare. However, Sunshine Electric's fanciest, most eccentric electric ceramic jug ever produced was the face jug. Cast as a caricature of T.R. Barclay, a director of Sunshine Electrics, the jug was a status symbol and is forever a huge hit at high tea parties. Above the face, the jug narrows to the spout and ceramic lid. Mottling covers the thick D-shaped handle and continues around the jug's body to create the character's hair and extended sideburns. The streamlined bodies of Twilight jugs have an electrifying lightning bolt motif on each side and incorporate many geometric designs into their symmetry and stylized ceramic lids. Manufacturers created many interesting shapes for their new lines of jugs. Some were cast as beehives, urns, while others were square. By the 1940s, durable Bakelite plastic had been invented and replaced the fragile ceramic lids of the earlier models, but Art Deco designs continued to be incorporated into the moulded shape of the lids and influenced their form right through to the 1960s. Now verging on antique status, early styles with their ceramic or Bakelite lids have become highly desirable to collectors, prized as individual works of art. Some will have been damaged over the years by knocks to the lip by the tap, or sometimes the ceramic lid would break after accidentally being struck by a teacup. After decades of dutiful service, it's rare to find museum quality pieces which retain their brand name decals and have no chips, crazing or cracks. <laughs>